For Valentine's Day this year, let's do something completely different. We go for fire and ice, red and white. A lovely red velvet cake layered with meringue in between and sprinkled with nuts and a couple of red rose leaves on top. Quite important to line the pan properly. First of all, we make sure that we have some melted butter and we brush the pan with butter. Then cut a piece of foil which is about five centimeters longer than the pan. We fold the foil into strips. Use these strips to crisscross into the pan. This is just to give you some handles to lift the cake out with. And then we put some baking paper to just cover the base of the pan. And just to get some extra flavor into the cake, the rose flavor, we're going to scatter some rose leaves at the bottom of the pan. Now, the beauty of this cake is the fact that we're going to use the yolks for the cake part and the whites for the meringue part. So we need to prepare two bowls. So what we're going to do is we're going to cream the butter together with a red color. Then when it's well creamed, we add the yolks and together with each yolk, we add one tablespoon of the cake mix. Once that is well creamed in, we'll add the creme fraiche and we'll add the milk and cream all that in really well. Now that we've done the cake mixture, we spoon it into the prepared pans. Just aim to get more or less the same amount in each pan. Now we can just level out the velvet section, the red velvet section of the cake in the pan. Now we need the meringue section. Janet's going to beat the egg whites. When they are just slightly foamy, we'll add a little squeeze of lemon to it. Then we keep on beating until they stand up in stiff peaks. And then we'll start adding the sugar gradually, spoonful by spoonful, until the mixture is thick and shiny and meringue-like. Now you can see this meringue is beautifully stiff and shiny. Now we again divide the meringue in half. Now we just gently smooth the meringue over the cake. Then we can sprinkle a few nuts over the top. You can mix them in with a little bit of coarse sugar. Okay, now they're ready for the oven. The reason why we lined the pan like this is so that it, it's easy, Janet, just give me a hand, to lift the cake out afterwards. Now in order to remove the silver strips and the baking paper at the bottom, we just carefully put something on there, remove the strips, peel away the baking paper. You can see the rose petals and we leave the cake to cool. In order to glue these two cakes together, we've whipped half a cup of cream and put the cream on the bottom half of the cake. Once you've got the cream layer in the middle, just lift up your cake with a nice big lifter. And wow, that looks pretty impressive, eh? Wow. Well, if this cake doesn't say, I love you, nothing will.